Well, good afternoon. It's such a pleasure to see you here again on Tuesday at noon. You know, if it's Tuesday at noon, it's a Thinking Tuesday. So welcome to Thinking Tuesday, our weekly oasis, where we dedicate a few minutes to reflect on our mindset, our thoughts, ask ourselves, how is my thinking serving me? Is it supporting my dreams and goals and moving me towards them? Or is it keeping me stagnated in places where I am not growing personally or professionally? Am I willing, courageous, or bold enough to challenge my thought patterns and change them for ones that serve me better and move me towards my goals, my dreams, and the lifestyle that I deserve. So I'm so glad that you're with me today because it means that you are looking at those things that I just spoke about. You know, our slogan in support of positivity thinking is, your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds. You, yes, you can grow flowers or you can, can grow weeds. So let's get rid of those weeds, which are those negative thought patterns that are make, just taking up space and choking out those flowers, which are those positive thoughts that serve us to move forward. That's what we're all about on Thinking Tuesday. Positive thoughts, positive thinkings, thinking, shifting our mindset. So glad you're on board with me today. So if you're like me, fall is one of my most favorite seasons. I just love the cool, comfortable weather, the changes in the colors of the leaves. And I'm looking forward to taking one of those nice long drives on a weekend to take in the beauty of the canopy of colorful uh, leaves. I'm sure you are also. I also love fall because it is the time for harvesting. When we collect the crop that we have grown, the things that we have sown. But for those of you who know a little bit more about gardening, fall is also a time for preparing the soil, for planting, for fertilizing, even though we're gonna do some more of that in the spring, but it starts in the fall where we till the soil in our gardens, we plant, we seed, we fertilize for the next season. So the seeds that we plant and that preparation process remain dormant during the winter, getting ready, it's incubating, to give birth to fl beautiful flowers, beautiful flowers and grass, a beautiful lawn during the spring, but we start in the fall. So what made me think about this also is that I recently did a walkthrough of a home with a relative of mine who is making a purchase and getting ready for the closing. And as we walked around the property, we were commenting on the new ideas for landscaping, what we want the lawn to look like, what flowers we're gonna plant and all those kinds of things. And my relative said to me, that she could hardly wait for the spring to begin with the landscaping, which led to a conversation about the best so time to seed. What's the best time to seed? I suggested that the best time to seed and to fertilize is now in the fall so that the lawn would come into its full beauty in the spring. So we're going to do a little bit more in the spring, but we start in the fall. That's a critical time to start tilling the soil. So I want to use that as a metaphor for how we must prepare for what we want to achieve. We seed in the fall. We fertilize. We till the soil in the fall to get ready for the spring. 
So using that as a metaphor, I want to ask you, is there something that you want to achieve that you have been waiting for the right time to begin? You don't see the fall as the right time? Unfortunately, many times the right time never comes. What excuses have you been giving yourself for putting off something that you should do or want to do? What dreams have you been putting off for all kinds of reasons? Maybe I don't have time, I don't have the money, I'm too old or I'm too young. <laughs> my family has never done that, so I can't do that. All my friends will laugh at me or I don't think I'm qualified. You name it, if there's an excuse, you'll find it. And that's what excuses do. But the longer you take to sow the seed, whatever it is that you want to achieve, the longer you take to sow that seed, the longer it takes you to harvest the crop. The longer it's going to take for you to achieve what you want to achieve or what you say you want to achieve. Because many times we say we want to do something, but we don't do things or we don't take the steps to achieve them. If you know anything about gardening, you have to plant the seed and give it enough time to germinate, right? But you just don't plant the seed and wait. You have to till the soil around it. You have to fertilize it. You have to water it. You have to support its growth. Then you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. You can enjoy what you have created. You will have achieved your goal, but you have to create some urgency. So I say, do it now. Do it now, not later. Because later is one of the most seductive words that I can think of. It makes us feel that as long as we have good intentions, all is well. Oh yes, I'll do that later. I'm gonna get to that later. It gives us a pass, right? And then we continue to procrastinate. And in many cases, unfortunately, we don't achieve our goals. We don't realize our dreams. Because later, the word later, L-A-T-E-R, is a dream killer. So I'm asking you, how willing are you to be intentional about planting the seeds to your success right now what can you do today what seeds can you plant today to get you started you know along with a uh, dream killer later that dream killer that I just mentioned is its accomplice good intentions so good intentions is another seductive partner that makes us feel good because we quote unquote intend to do something. We promise to do something. We plan to do something. But as long as we don't begin and actively do it, it remains only a good intention. So we don't want to just feel good. We want to feel accomplished. So we cannot stop with the thought or the feeling of good intention. Instead, we have to be intentional about our good intention. Having good intentions and being intentional are two different things. So consider this the fall season for yourself. Consider this your fall season. What seeds are you willing to plant now and intentionally, intentionally act upon so that you can enjoy your spring, whenever your spring is? Is that going to be a new you? Is your new spring going to be a new home, a new job, a new partner, maybe, a new career? What are some of the personal goals that you would like to achieve to bring into your spring that you can begin to seed now in your fall? 
Are you satisfied really with where you are in your personal growth? Because just like the plants grow, we have to grow as well. So what seeds are you willing to plant today? Because today matters. Today really matters. So what seeds are you willing to plant today? Someone once said, uh, there comes a time when you need to stop waiting for the man or the woman you want to become and start being the man or the woman that you want to be. There comes a time when you need to stop waiting for the man or woman that you want to be, to become, and start being the man or woman that you want to be. You must feel and create some urgency to begin making the changes that you would like to see in yourself and your circumstances. Because your circumstances won't change if you don't change. You know, the law of diminishing intent says, the longer you wait to do something you should do now, the greater the odds will are that you will not do it. You will not actually do it. So again, what step can you take today to shift your thinking and take action? Shift your thinking and take action towards achieving your goals and your dreams. You have to start somewhere. The best time to start is today. So if you don't have a clue of where you want to start, let me share with you three questions that you can begin to ask yourself to help you to begin to build a path, right? Number one, where do I want to go in life? And I think I can hear some of you saying maybe, oh, it's too late for me, but you can change. You can ask that question at any stage in your life. Your life is not over until it's over. And you know what I mean, until death. So you can ask that question, where do I want to go in life? or in this stage of my life, at any stage of your life. Number two, ask yourself, what direction do I want to go? It's never too late to change your direction. It's only late when you say, or when you convince yourself that it is, and even then it's not. Just because you say it's not, it is, it's not. It doesn't have to be. But reach out and ask someone to brainstorm with you about how you can help, get help developing a roadmap if you don't know where to start. Because sometimes people can see more than we can see. They can see more in us than we can see in us, in ourselves. And number three, ask yourself, what's the farthest I can imagine going? I said imagine going not that you can go because we have to use our imagination to give us a vision allow yourself to have a vision use your imagination it works wonders that's why we have it because what we achieve begins in our imagination just think about things that you have achieved and where did it start it started with a thought it started with something that you you thought about that you imagined could be and you found a way to do it. But whatever you do, start seeding now, today. No excuses, no excuses. <laughs> excuses are those we's that we're trying to get rid of on Thinking Tuesday. So get started on something today. If it's changing your diet, for instance, eliminate one thing from your diet today, if that's what the seed that you wanna plant if that's where you want to start. Or add one healthy thing to your meal today. Just do one thing, take one step. If it's, let's say, rewriting your resume, begin to revise it today. Look it over, review it today. 
get input from someone who can help or turn to the Google University. Everything is on Google. It doesn't have to be a big step, but take a step. Plan to do something daily towards growing that seed, watering that seed, fertilizing that seed. Put it on your calendar so you can see it. Give yourself reminders of what you need to do because when we're starting something new, many times we need encouragement, we need reminders. So put it on your calendar. Give yourself an alert. An alert. Take it one day at a time. I always go back to that slogan from AA when I used to work in uh, alcoholism programs. You know, we used to tell the recovering alcoholics, one day at a time. Just take it one day at a time. Because Rome was not built in a, in a day. You'll build momentum. Find a good friend or a loved one. Tell them what you're attempting to do. And, and ask them to help to keep you accountable, to hold you accountable. Because we know that bad habits die hard. Right? <laughs> I believe you can do it. It's not impossible. But no matter how much I believe you can do it, only you can start. Only you can begin. Because as you begin, you're going to gain more confidence to keep going. Just think about anything that you started and you were uncomfortable with before. And as you continue putting one foot in front of the other, before you know it, you're down the path. So it's the same thing with this. Get an accountability partner. Decide what you want to work on, what seed you want to plant. Create a vision board for the future, for instance, with pictures or affirmative statements that you want to use to keep you focused in the direction that you want to go and what you want to achieve. All those things are helpful to keep you on the track and to help you daily. Keep an image of that spring, that spring garden. What is it going to look like? Oh, the colorful flowers, the reds, the yellow, the blues, the pinks, you know. Allow yourself to see your dreams and your goals in full color, in full bloom. And most of all, have patience. Have patience with yourself. Because like I said, Rome was not built in a day. And celebrate your small wins. Because we tend to give short thrift to the things that are not big, they're not major, but it takes small steps to get to the big steps. So give yourself some time to celebrate those small wins because they are important. A daily win is that you took another step towards what you want to achieve. That's a daily win. It might not be a big step, but it is a step. So think about this fall. Think about today. Uh, as the beginning of something that you want to seed, a goal, a dream, whatever it might be, so that you can begin to water that seed or plant that seed first, water that seed, fertilize it, um, get people around you that believe in you, that want to support you, uh, I'm available. Feel free to reach out to me on my website. I love encouraging. That's why I'm a coach. <laughs> and I offer complimentary consultations to help my clients develop their roadmap. And again, feel free to go to my website, drcherylburton.com, to see the services and the programs that I have. And all of my programs and services are customized to suit my clients' needs. So if there's something that's not there that you're looking for, I'm just a phone call away. So I hope this has added value to you. And as I usually uh, recommend, please share it with someone who can benefit from this as well. 
when you find something that's valuable, you want to share it. And this, if this is of value to you, there's someone that you know. There is someone that you know who can use this as well. So be good to yourself. Do something good for yourself today. Get started. And um, be patient with yourself, like I said. Allow yourself time to think through what it is that you want to do, what it is that you want to start, what seed do you want to plant, and give yourself a chance to do something daily. Take a daily step to get you where you want to get to. So I thank you for joining me again today. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at noon for Thinking Tuesday. Take care of yourself, and bye for now. Bye.